Hello everyone and welcome to our English class. I'm Monika Yordake and... And I am Akshay Singh. Today we are going to talk about used to past habits for the sixth graders. Let's start. We are using this structure used to to speak about past actions or activities that we did in the past and we are not doing nowadays. Let's see the learning goals of our today's lesson. Those are, Akshay? The learning goals are to develop students' ability to talk about past habits using used to in the context of childhood. To describe pictures using the past expression used to and to practice the structures in an engaging way. Principalele obiective de învățare de astăzi sunt acelea de a dezvolta abilitatea studenților de a vorbi despre acțiuni trecute în contextul copilăriei. Mai mult decât atât, vom descrie anumite imagini folosind expresia used to și vom interacționa astfel încât elevii să înțeleagă această folosire a structurii used to. Let's start with the meaning and form. Akshay, please. Used to, the meaning and form. We use used to when we refer to things in the past which are no longer true. It can refer to repeated actions or to a state or situation. Folosim used to pentru a ne referi la acțiuni din trecut care nu mai sunt adevărate. Ne putem referi la acțiuni repetate, la stări sau anumite situații. You can understand better if you have a look at these examples. I say, he used to play football for the local team, but he is too old now. And the second example, that white house over there used to belong to my family. It belonged to my family in the past, but not anymore. Let's move on and talk about the structure. We have the affirmative form where we have the subject I used to and the bare infinitive watch. And the example, I used to watch Disney cartoons when I was five. Regarding the negative, Akshay? In the negative, I say I didn't used to watch Disney cartoons when I was five. Please remember the D goes off in the use because we are using didn't, the past tense already. And for the interrogative form, we have the auxiliary verb did plus the subject plus used to plus bare infinitive. Did you use to watch Disney cartoons when you were five? Let's move on and see some examples. In the old days, people used to listen to gramophone records. But now, they listen to CD players. Of course. Similarly, in the old days, women used to wash their dirty clothes by hand. But now, they use washing machine. And the interrogative form, let's have a look at these examples. Did I used to play tennis? Did you used to play tennis? Did he used to play tennis? Did she used to play tennis? Did it? Did we used to play tennis? Or did they used to play tennis? And we can answer yes, I did, the short form. Yes, she did. No, I didn't. No, they didn't. And we have an example for the negative. Did people use to use calculators to do calculation? No, they didn't. The negative. Similarly, the negative form. I didn't use to play tennis. You didn't use to play tennis. He didn't use to play tennis. She We didn't use to play tennis, they didn't use to play tennis, and some sentences. 
Mary didn't use to watch horror films, but he watches now. Similarly, Diana didn't use to speak Spanish, but she speaks now. We didn't use to eat fast food, but we eat fast food now. People didn't use to use credit card for shopping, but they use it now. Dan didn't use to have long hair last year, but he has got a long hair now. Let's move on and see another example with the negative form. People didn't use to communicate through mobile phones. They used to communicate through telegraphs. Now we're going to watch a video and revise in some specific context the use to structure. Where's mum? I don't know. She called earlier and said she'd call back. She wants to speak to us both. Did she sound happy or serious? Happy. Is she finally going out with your head teacher? Ha! Uh, I'm not sure, but I think they've been seeing each other for a while. He didn't used to wear nice clothes, and recently he's looking quite cool. I wonder if she'll start travelling less. Maybe. She used to go away on really long trips, and these days it's maximum a week. Oh! Hi, Mum! Are you in London? Yes, surprise! Are you writing about London? Yes, I am. I'd forgotten how amazing it is, and it's near home. <laughs> so, do you have more reasons to stay near home these days? No. Like what? Never mind. I just thought that I'm always abroad, but we've got one of the most interesting cities in the world just an hour from home, and I've never even written about it. So here I am. I haven't been here to visit for years. It's nothing like it used to be. The record shop I always used to visit is now a really cool cafe specialising in bubble tea. So what else did you used to go to London for? For fun. For concerts and to buy new clothes. But it didn't used to be as busy as it is now. I love what they've done on the South Bank. I hadn't seen the London Eye close up before, and the Tate Modern's an impressive building with great views of the bit that used to be the docks. So is it all so different? No, not completely. The area near the river is very different, but the West End hasn't changed much. The theatres are still great, and Piccadilly Circus looks a little different than it used to. But it's still a meeting place, and the lights are still there. But I like the new London. So... Yes? I've booked hotel rooms for the three of us for this weekend, so you can get to know London a bit better. Cool! Wow! I'll book your train tickets now, and call you back in an hour or so. Okay? Okay. okay. Alright. All right. Let's move on to the practice part. For our next for our first activity we have to order the words to make correct sentences. And remember students, use used to. My grandfather used to tell stories in the evenings. Alright, if we arrange the words correctly for the second sentence, we will have his uncle used to grow vegetables in the garden. Similarly, for the third one, my grandmother used to make bread at home, now she doesn't. And for the next one, we used to visit neighbors and relatives more often. And the last one, we used to go somewhere by horse carriages. Alright, let's move on to our next activity. For this one, we have to make sentences using the words from the first column that describe activities that we did 20 years ago and these words from the second column that describe activities that we're doing nowadays. So the first one, she used to live in Istanbul, but she lives in London now. Similarly, 
Sally used to be a teacher, but she is retired now. Sally used to be thin, but she is overweight now. And the fourth one? Sally used to have black hair, but she has white hair now. So quite simple students. And the last one? Sally used to have a dial phone, but she has a mobile phone now. Yeah, times change. Times change. For the next activity, we have to complete the following sentences with the right words and of course with the structure used to. So what is he doing now? Joe used to ask a lot of questions in class and his teacher used to answer them immediately. For the next picture, the kids used to catch the bus at 8.15 every morning and it used to take them 10 minutes to arrive at school. And the next one, Linda used to play hopscotch during the school break. Daniel didn't sleep enough hours at night and he used to fall asleep in the class. Ricky was not a very hard-working student and he used to cheat on exams. Bob's teacher used to help him to do the exercises when they were difficult for him. For the last part of our activity, we are going to revise a bit the use of structure by having a short dialogue. I will ask Akshay a question and he will do the same. So Akshay, what did you used to do when you were a child? Ah, Monica, I used to do a lot of things. Actually, I remember I used to go out for long walks. I used to read a lot of books. I remember once we also... I used to, at that time, we used to make houses and trees. And we used to play a lot of games. What about you, Monica? What did you used to do when you lived abroad? When I lived abroad, I used to study a lot and I also used to go out with my friends and to enjoy the magnificent sights of Strasbourg city. Lucky you. Thank you for watching, students. That was all for today. Don't forget to practice and see you next time. We'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye.